Okay, we are here with uh, Cassandra Scott, which is an activist uh, on chemtrails and harp. She's going to explain to us uh, why is she here today, what is going on, what is about, what is this manifestation about, demonstration. So, Cassandra Scott. Okay, hi. Um, yeah, we're here. Unfortunately, not as many people as I would like. There were hundreds of people said they were going to come, but still, the people that are here are very committed and very concerned about what I consider to be the biggest crime against humanity. It is the atrocity called chemtrails, which goes on in our skies every day. Uh, planes spray virtually on a daily basis. And for those who don't know, if they just sort of look at the sky and watch a plane that lays a trail across the sky, they'll see that linger in the sky. And what about condensation? Isn't it condensation? Well, there is something called contrails, and they still exist. You can actually watch two planes traveling. What's the difference between contrails and chemtrails? A contrail is a condensation trail, which is what people were familiar with, a plane that would travel across the sky and leave a vapor trail that would follow the plane. But this is different. This is actually the deliberate putting of chemicals. How can you tell the difference? Because the chemicals leave a trail. They leave a trail that lingers in the sky and then you have like a fallout situation. You can actually, if you look at a chemtrail, you can actually see particles falling down. They're actually called nanoparticles. They're finer than a human hair. Is it needed to cool the planet? They say that. Well, they say that we have something called global warming and it's been put around in the propaganda and Al Gore did a video about global warming. That is a smokescreen, literally. It is not global warming. They're doing so much damage with what they're doing. They've got what's called solar radiation management. They're blocking out our sun. Um, we don't see the sun. Why you do you know? think they're doing that? What's the reason behind? There are many, many, many reasons. Uh, one of the reasons in, involves agriculture, involves our soil. The toxic chemicals, which include aluminium oxide, are raining down on our soil, being taken up by the plants. Plants are dying, trees are dying globally, and eventually it changes the pH balance of the soil, and crops won't grow in an aluminium toxic soil, they just won't grow. What's the aim of doing, uh, destroying the soil? Well, Monsanto are very greedy. They're this big agro... What's Monsanto? Monsanto is a massive... There are others, but it's one of the biggest names in the genetically modified food corporation. And they have patented aluminium-resistant seeds, drought-resistant seeds, and um, wet weather, flood-resistant seeds, if you like. They, they did that years ago because it's all part of a master plan. So when nothing grows in our soils anymore, they can just come to us and say, we have the seeds for you and they can charge what the heck they like because we won't be able to grow anything. And what about owning of the weather? I mean, is there something like that? Well, this is another agenda to this, this massive program is that they can actually control our weather. Um, a lot of the major events like Fukushima in Japan, that was, and I've just, it's just kind of, I can't believe it, that that was done deliberately, that we have these crazy, insane people. What happened in Japan? Well, they created that tsunami that caused the nuclear reactor to spill its guts into the sea and has been for the past God knows how so long. So you think that's, it's, it's, that's happened in the Philippines as well, New Orleans as well? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And the flooding that we had in this country, beginning of the year, two months of relentless rain, it was all done deliberately and people just don't know it. They say, oh, well, it's global warming, expect a bit of disruption, expect, you know, different weather patterns, but it's not. This is a program that's been going on for at least 20 years. But generally speaking, when I go about and I talk to people every single day, I get a feeling of an awakening. You know, I'm not seen as a conspiracy theorist anymore. People actually, yeah, we have noticed the skies. Can you explain what's going on? And they ask me for information. I try and keep it brief. You cannot give the whole agenda to people because in fact, the whole agenda is very scary. There is so much to it. So Cassandra, we were saying we have an event coming up, which is actually my event. <laughs> so can you tell us about this? Yeah, um, I feel this is going to be a bit like the Sky's the Limit event, which is ongoing and promotes uh, music, music and the chemtrail harp agenda. And this is the first one to kick off. It's on the 14th of May, Wednesday, at the Enterprise, Camden. And we really want people to come along and support it. You know, people who might not be into chemtrails but just love music can actually get to hear about this horrific crime for the first time. And those that are support chemtrails and any activities like that can get to hear. And we're gonna have wonderful music. <laughs> we're gonna have 
not just uh, chemtrails and harp. We're going to have actors as well. Actors, comedians and uh, bands, musicians. Yeah. And she's going to be the presenter of it. Got up, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and also we're going to have Barbara Craig and Alan Potter talking about chemtrails and harp. 14th of May, Camden Enterprise, come along. But try and get tickets before the event. You can email Stefano and don't rely on getting at the door because it might have sold out. I'll say that to anybody. Thank you very much, Cassandra. That's okay. <laughs> and see you soon.